hi what's up in this tutorial I'm going to put you through on how to create you know uh, your Hina uh, layout design in Corridor 2020 without further ado let's step into it so let's go over uh, to this you know uh, <coughs> place and change it to A4 which is normal size of, of the uh, program so what we're going to do next is to go over uh, to your rectangle tool double click on that automatically snap up into page so right now we are going to play around you know with blue you know to create this uh, inner layout so let's go so right now what you need to do right now is to go over to this place and hold on your control key on your keyboard then you tap blue into the background can you see that so make it copy downward change that out to royal blue so what next right now is to go over uh, to uh you know make it copy just like so and <coughs> pull it up just like so then you change it to a lighter blue so right now what next is to go over uh, to your you know ellipse to click on ellipse to then go over and create you know an over shape just like so so change to royal blue and then you locate what we call interactive transfer uh, interactive field to click on that then you drag on the object in which you have created so right now the next step is to change this you know white color click here then you change it to uh let's change to lighter blue good so right now what we are going to do next is to go over and let's make a copy of this you know click the object and you click it once again you know indication of an arrow shows up asking you to maneuver the object so let's maneuver it this way right click then you hit control for a repeat just like so good so right now what I need to do is to group it all up then you go over to your uh, what's it called ellipse to create a perfect circle then you change that out to white this is where we are going to put uh, our numbering so let's make a copy of that change that to real blue again then make a copy inward again right click when you get to your destination change it to white then you center it within the objects just like so good group it all up then you position that to the tip of the design just like so so that's where we're gonna really even put a numbering you know this might be number one can you see that so what we need us to do next is to go over and create you know a photo box so right now we are change we are, are creating an object bigger one so what we need to do is to change that out to white then you make a copy copy inward the object hold shift key on your keyboard then you drag it inward when you get to your destination you right click to copy paste so right now let's change that out to a lighter blue to show the indication of a picture so so right now what we need to do is to just you know let's give this you know uh object shadow locate your shadow to click on that then you drag on the object automatically shadow pops out can you see that so let's go over and uh so object then you locate you know break drop shadow apart automatically press then you group it all up good so that is good so right now the next step we cannot just leave the background just like so we needed to add you know uh, some pattern to the background so let's make a copy of this one then you change it to real blue go back uh, to uh, your transparency to then you go back to change you to test your transparency so right now from here you will see so many pattern in which you would play with you play with so let's make use of this one this is a bit you know nice 
so let's make it bigger just like so good make it bigger a little bit good so right now what we're going to do is to go over and uh, bitmap that convert to bitmap wait a while for that to bitmap then you go over to your transparency to hit on a uh, uniform transparency automatically lessen it lengthen that background and you see that so what we're going to do right now is to pack clip this into place just like so let's go over to object then you look at back clip, place it inside frame, select the frame, automatically snap into page. So hold alt key and keep select the object, then you adjust. Good. Let's adjust that a little bit. Good. So here is the portion of the picture, and this is where you're going to write the name of the attendee. Uh, the uh, what's it called? How do I put it? Those people that are coming to the program. So here is the end of the pro uh, of the tutorial. Can you see the outcome of what we created so far? You know, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button to subscribe, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far. So see you in the next video. Bye for now.